Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri. Today's gonna to be a short video on how to use R. In the last video, we talked about filtering using indices. Today, we're gonna to be using the subset function. So let's just dive on in here. Uh, let's create a new R script. And let's say, you know, today we're going to use the subset function. So th the big difference here, right? So in the last video, we used indexing or you know, you could say we use indices. Um, but in this video, we're using the subset function. And the only difference between these two is going to be uh, the way that R uh, actually handles the NA terms. So we talked about NAs before, we talked about indexing before, um, but let's just give an example here what I mean. So we'll create some value called A and we're gonna assign a vector to it. We'll say, okay, 72, 18, 65, NA, 35, NA, and we'll run that. And we'll create something else called old, and we'll say, okay, um, A is going to be, you know, we're gonna do some filtering based on the index here, again, which is covered in the last video. So if you don't understand this, please go watch the video before this, which is episode 15. Um, but again, if A is going to be greater than 30, so let's just say these are ages here. Uh, if your age is greater than 30, you will be old just like me. And so we're gonna run that here. Uh, and we're gonna print out old. And down here, right, you see, okay, 72, 65, NA, 35, NA. So it dropped the 18 because it was the only age that was less than 30 and what we're gonna do here now is, you know, notice here that we have two NAs. Um, and just to make this a little bit clearer here, so for clarity, uh, we'll do the opposite example as well. Um, so we're gonna say, okay, you know, let's call this young. We're gonna say, okay, if A, looking in the A vector, if A is going to be less than 30, we'll run that and we'll print out A. What do, what do we expect to see here? So you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, when we print out young, uh, you see now it's 18, which is the one value that we have that meets this criteria, but then we continue to have the two NAs. So NAs are included in both examples. Since R doesn't know what NAs actually are, right, what they represent here, um, in both cases, you know, less than and greater than, uh, it defaults to keeping all NAs. So the real advantage here of using, again, like I mentioned at the beginning here, subset, so we're gonna use, we can use a subset, and this will do the same thing, however, it will drop DNAs. So let's say, okay, old two, and we're gonna use the same logic here, but instead we're gonna say subset, and we're gonna put an A, which is the vector we're looking at, and the condition here, or the inequality, or the statement that we want, is gonna be you know A, which is greater than 30. You run that, and let's say, okay, print old two. And again, we get the same thing as above. So here's the original old printed, which was 72, 65, NA, 35, NA. It's the same, except we dropped the two NA. So 72, 65, 35. And then just as a final example here to show you the opposite. So young two is going to be, you know, subset. And we're gonna say A, but we're gonna say A is less than 30 now. And you run that. And then we print out young two. And again, here you see, we just get 18. So before we got 18, but we ended up getting two NAs, now we just get 18. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is really the only difference with subset function instead of using indices as we've seen in the last video and the few examples in this video. Only real difference here, if you want the NAs, you can use indices. Uh, if you don't want the NAs, you can use the subset function. So anyways, thanks for watching. And as always, until next time.